Hey guys, so if you saw my top seven iPadOS features for students that I'll have linked down below, then you'll notice that one of the points that I talked about was having a Bluetooth mouse. Now, me personally, I've been using the iPad for quite a while and having a Bluetooth mouse has really had a great impact on my experience using the iPad. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Logitech MX Master and how it's been able to benefit me as a student and how I've been able to apply it throughout the semester and why I think that it is such a great investment for you. Also, it would really help my channel if you left a like and even subscribed if you want more videos just like this one. More videos are on the way, so hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss them. So right here, you see that I have the Logitech MX Master itself. And if you can get this thing while it's on sale, this is actually a really good deal for buying a mouse. This is made by Logitech, which is really, which is a really reputable brand for Bluetooth devices. You know, they have their keyboards. I have the Logitech Slim Folio for my iPad right here. So you know that this is definitely going to be something worth investing in. Now, some of the benefits that I've had with this mouse would be for editing documents. So over here, you can see that I have my iPad opened. And if I turn on the mouse, just by flipping over the mouse, just like this and hitting the button that is right here, I can just flick it on. You can see that the one lights up and now my mouse is actually connected. You can see the pointer right over there on the screen. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually connect your mouse in a little bit of a while. So a really good benefit that I've found for this mouse is actually making edits to documents for school so much faster. So as you can see here, I have my mouse connected and I'm actually going to use it to go through this document right here. And now while you could use the Apple Pencil, which I have right up there, or your finger, I just find that having a mouse is so much more efficient and feels more natural in the hand to actually go through your documents. And it's really easy to make edits because you can just go, you can click exactly where you need to. And when I'm using my finger or the Apple Pencil, it is not as precise. So I really like having the precision of the mouse pointer itself so that whenever I need to click something, I can just automatically click it and I'm right there when I need to be. So this really makes editing things in the Google Suites or if you're on Microsoft, editing things in Word, it really makes editing so much more easy, so much more convenient, and really helps you get your work done faster. Another benefit to having the mouse available is actually for GoodNotes. Now, as most of you guys know, I use GoodNotes for taking notes in class, and I actually use it for writing down my notes because that is a better way to actually remember the things that I'm writing down. But for homework, uh, just for the classes that I don't exactly need to necessarily write out the answers, I actually use the mouse and the keyboard combination to type out all of my answers. So as you can see here, I just write down the section and I write down the questions that I have to do. And then over here, I type out all of the questions and the answers that I answer myself. And using the mouse while editing using the text tool is really, really easy in GoodNotes. So for example, you can see here, I have a GoodNotes document for all the for all my biology homework and I can actually use the text tool to come and select some text and I can actually make edits to it really really easily and really quickly by using the mouse. So as you can see here I can switch between the different questions really really easily and then if I need to type something I can go here and I can type and then automatically I can switch to a different question that I need to answer. So overall, editing documents is just really, really easy with this mouse because you can combine it with things like GoodNote and a keyboard to really get your work done so much more efficiently and so much more faster than you would with, let's say, using your finger or even an Apple Pencil. Another benefit to having a Bluetooth mouse just like this one would be for actually interacting with the screen itself. So obviously touching the screen for like 10 minutes isn't gonna cause any damage, but when you're sitting hours on end having to type and then lean all the way forward to edit your document, it can become a hassle. So having a Bluetooth mouse at the ready just makes this so much more convenient. So not having to hunch over is a big win for me, not having to constantly reach to the screen for minor changes and definitely having this complete laptop experience is a real benefit. The Logitech MX Master is also great for other input methods. The way that the mouse works is that it just resembles your touch input gestures. So if I was to touch and go like that to scroll down, I can just click and hold and release to scroll down. And it also makes it really convenient for when you have to press and hold for something like zooming in, I can just right click with my mouse 
and zoom in just like that. And obviously that's different for the app that you're in, whether that's holding down for a different function or left clicking to do something different in let's say a game. There are so much buttons that you can customize to your liking and you can really get a feel for what you want out of the mouse. You can also see over here that it actually shows up in the battery icons. So over here, you can see that the MX Master is connected via Bluetooth and that it has 50% battery. And I'm gonna be honest, I have not charged it once since I unboxed it over a month ago. And it really just has an extremely long lifespan and I don't even have to worry about charging this guy until every once in a while. Obviously everything needs to charge, but the battery lifespan on this is just great. So as I mentioned before, every button on the mouse is customizable itself. So if you access the mouse settings via clicking accessibility, then scrolling down to touch, assistive touch, devices, and then your connected devices over here. So if you wanna connect the device itself, you'd go to Bluetooth devices. And over here, you can see that I have the MX Master connected already. So I'm going to click on it and you can see all the different buttons that I have here and you can see all their actions. So single tap, long press, home for button three, double tap, and dock. So you can really customize all your buttons for your liking, and you can really be versatile about the way that you want to use your mouse. And as you can see here, you have a whole set of options of what you want your buttons to do. And these are just the settings that I have and the ones that I found have worked the best. So the mouse itself. This mouse is extremely comfortable to hold in the hand because of its ergonomic shape. They have this little section here for your thumb that also has a texture on it, which feels amazing. And gripping onto this for a long period of time is honestly kind of enjoyable. It's very ergonomic, large, but also mobile because it is a Bluetooth mouse. So as you can see here, the MX Master right there. And while it is actually Bluetooth, you can have it connected to up to three devices. So if I turn this on, you can see that the one lights up. And that if I click that button, it's gonna go into pairing mode for another device. And if I go into, and if I press the button one more time, it's gonna go light up the three to go into pairing mode for the third option. And if I click this button one more time, it's gonna circle back all the way to one where it's solid because it's connected to my iPad right now. So this is a really good benefit. And in the month that I've been using it, it has not lost connectivity once. So that is a huge benefit to using this mouse. Like I mentioned before, it is very clicky and responsive with the four buttons that I had mentioned. So it's very clicky and responsive to everything that you input. The scroll wheel, it has two scroll wheels and four actual physical buttons. And the scroll wheel is just extremely smooth for whenever you need to go through uh, long documents. And this scroll wheel, unfortunately, actually does not work with the iPad currently. If you're using this with a computer, then it's going to work fine. But for the iPad, uh, this button just does not have any functionality currently. So like I said, it has excellent scrolling technology with the Logitech scroll wheel. So like I mentioned before, this guy has a massive battery life and actually uh, charges via micro USB. So whether you guys are all onto USB-C or whether you guys still have some micro USB cables, this guy is gonna charge via micro USB. It has strong and reliable Bluetooth connectivity like I mentioned before, and it really gives you that premium feeling with the arc that it gives your hand. It just really fe feels like a solid premium device. So with all the benefits that it can bring for a student like myself, what are some of the cons for this thing? The button placements on the side. Now, as you can see here, these are the two buttons that you have available. And with the way that your thumb is actually gonna be placed on the mouse, I found it to be very clustered and very uncomfortable in my hand for when I wanna use these buttons at least. Very ergonomic, very comfortable, but except for these buttons. These buttons uh, do actually, like as you can see here, watch. It's actually like, if I want to move my thumb up, this is where I would be. I wouldn't be all the way over here and I actually have to bend my thumb back over here and it's pretty uncomfortable. So that's why I don't use it that much except for using the dock. Now, as I mentioned before, the mouse simulates touch gestures. While in and of itself does have its pros, it also does have its cons. So for example, as you can see here, I'm in Google Docs. You can see here that while I'm trying to interact with the screen, if I actually try to right click, it's not going to right click like a computer. Now, yes, there are some websites like Google Docs right here that 
pressing and holding does simulate a right click on a device. So for example, if I right click right here, you're gonna see that it brings up that window as if I right clicked on a computer. And that's great for Google Docs, but that isn't how it is for all other websites. This is only a Google Docs thing. So if I click share and if I try to right click it, it's just gonna do share. It's not actually gonna right click the share button and nothing's gonna happen. So right clicking on this device does not actually work. You have to set your mouse to do a touch gesture that you think would resemble a right click. So for me, I've personally found that with most of the apps that I use, pressing and holding resembles the right click. So that's what I've set my right click on my mouse to actually do. You're losing most of the normal abilities that you would find with a mouse. So you just have to keep that in mind when buying this. So all in all, given the asking price of this mouse, even though I felt I've felt that it was very well spent and worth it, it may not be worth it to everyone because I bought it on sale. When I bought it, it was basically half the price and that was a really good deal for me. But currently right now, the price is around $150, which in my opinion for a high school student just isn't worth it for a Bluetooth mouse. But if you do see this on sale during Christmas time, which is coming up, or during the back to school sales, I definitely recommend getting it when it is on sale. When it's not on sale, I just can't recommend it at its asking price. What I do recommend is getting a mouse in general because I think that it is very worth it for students. A Bluetooth mouse for your iPad device is very worth it just because of all the different benefits that you get with a Bluetooth mouse just like this one. Like I mentioned in the video, there are so many different benefits and pros to having a Bluetooth mouse that really completes your iPad setup that you just can't miss out on. So definitely pick one up if you're thinking about it. This mouse specifically brings a lot of benefits that students like myself can take advantage of, such as the different buttons for interacting, editing documents done faster, and really just interacting with your iPad device to be more productive and be more efficient with the way that you're using it. However, if you are going to buy a Bluetooth mouse, which I do recommend, other cheaper options may be suitable depending on your needs and what you'd like to use throughout the school year. So thank you guys for watching this video and sticking around to the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it can help you make a decision at least. And if you don't agree with me, that's okay. I just hope that you've got a little bit of information from this video about how Bluetooth mice can help you as a student. And if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and share this video to someone who may be on the fence about purchasing a mouse for their iPad device. So if I've missed anything, leave a comment and it'll get answered. Until then, I'm Matt, and thanks for watching.